Black Bridgewater, Lamar Jackson, how I throw them Ravens across the border. Hold up, you know I'm a touchdown with the sack. Run up the whole life and run the back on the play. Intercept the pack like a safety, you boys ain't shaking. play. <laughs> That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped the bag on the tag. He ain't nothing. Make them throw a flag when I pass, come through stunning. Call me tired, girl, and hit the hole, then I ran it. First play and it's second down. Second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is locked. is beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl and he picks up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Fletcher. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight. From the 40 now on second down. Lock. This to C.J. Hand, the fullback. That is going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 44-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 44-yard line. On play action, lock. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Metcalf. 
That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They go back to the ground with Jones. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. He's decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Three. Lock going to try and throw on third down. as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 14. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and six from the 10. Get this out wide to Metcalf. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. and 10 at their own 23. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. to 26, second and seven. Now a give, right side. Mobley, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Patrick Queen on the tackle. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six.
Carr now on first down. Steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Hard. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Carr going to throw. He finds back and complete. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Back home, 38 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And we're running up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. At their own 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I know we spend a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, Jumps the play and knocks it away. Really well done. Now he lost the football to town. And the Raiders have recovered. The defense, they were swarming that time. It ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing. Take care of the football. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Yard line. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied, seven to seven. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And he's over the line and in for a new touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up.
The former Gamecock here. This is Mike Davis. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Hunter on the stop. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and five. From the gun on third down, Locke. And he'll drop it underneath to Goldman. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. First and ten at the 32-yard line. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 38, Locke. of feeling complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Out of the shotgun, he'll run with Davis. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tripped by Jeff Gladney. Yeah, they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Second. Car and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. 22 yard on first down. Mobley. And he'll go down right at the 30 yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. It's a gain of nine. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down now. Mobley. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run the counter. Mobley. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now a give, right side, Mobley, and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. Carson the first down and more. And down to the 29-yard line. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On first down, Mobley. And in 
inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back oh, -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. short attempt. now to start their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And, it's and down he goes. Brought down a later sack. Leonard Floyd able to drop in that time for his second sack of the evening. It's second down. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Matt Prater set to kick off. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 18 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on 
here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll keep it on the ground. Mobley, yeah, he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third down, Mobley, and he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him six yards in the first down. First Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll run on first down. Mobley. Second and goal from inside the five. Brings up second. Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. It's now third and goal. their cushion felt very military to me very precise methodical that's one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit things looking good for them here in the third quarter not only pulling away you mentioned that slowly but surely you also drain clock too in a drive like that so you really give yourself an advantage Tavecchio good on the extra point and that'll make this a three score game now the lead moves to 17. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And this carries into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25 yard line. now to start their next drive and their halftime hole now even deeper and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them they were down at the half as you mentioned they're down a little bit bigger but no time for discouragement just got to get back to it right put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half there's lock to throw and the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, and it'll bring up third down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense, and that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. Throwing his lock on third down. 
And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory, right at the 40. From the gun, a give to Davis. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. He was brought down by Trey Williams. A gain of five brings up second. From the 35 on second down. Block. And down he goes. They sack it back right around the 41 yard line. But that's his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And he will take this all the way up past the 40 yard line. Shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So, uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Now, after the INT, it's Carr. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Second and 10 here in the third quarter of Super Bowl 56. It looks like right at the 50. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. On fourth down, they try to run for it, and he's not going to get there. He might have even lost a yard. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it, and it'll be a turnover on downs. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. The throw over the middle, take it in. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen there to make the grab. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves. And now they have a chance to make some more plays. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. On first down, Mobley. Yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Patrick Queen on the tackle. A gain of a yard. 
brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Mobley. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll run on first down. Mobley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. That's out to the left and complete. And attacking it across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 43. Now it's Carson. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the pick out there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. And that'll set him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll try the left side. Mobley. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the field. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. back to him on first down and he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four for the running back Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him from the 25 here's second and six they'll try and run some clock here as they keep it Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. 
The Raiders on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. A gain of three. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. time in the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. Yeah, they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Lock working out of the gun. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they bring him to the ground just shot in midfield. His second catch in the Super Bowl, but it's good enough for a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Lock now on first down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 27-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Lock now on first down. Swing into the hands of Metcalf. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Vikings first down. On first and 10, here's Locke. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 and the 19. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. From the gun, it's locked. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, and now it's third down. The 
they'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this what I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball they've been unsuccessful all night and this is intercepted and that should do it Darren Lee picks it and a return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15 yard line Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Odell Beckham, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Well, they certainly have the look of a team with something to prove, don't they? All week, as we prepared for this game, we kept reading about how they said they're going to play a full 60 minutes this week. Has nothing to do with their opponent. No disrespect intended, but they wanted to be people of their word, playing this thing all the way out, trying to finish this goal. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Jakeem Grant on the return. The Vikings take over first and ten at their own 21-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. At the 27-yard line. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He was brought down by Patrick Onwasur. That's a game of three. It's and how about this? Viva Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Raiders on top of the football world as they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. The victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy. You know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when 